this is Mr. Everything again coming at you with another one of my Robotech RPG Tactics updates. Uh, my progress in uh, preparing for the imminent release of the game in December. Uh, now, uh, what I'm doing now, while I, since I don't have the miniatures and I don't have the game, uh, what I am doing is I'm working on terrain to get built up. As you know, if you've been following my channel, you know this already. So, uh, <clears throat> what you've seen so far is a lot of buildings. You've seen a lot of the terrain table type maps that I'm using from uh, Drop Zone Commander. Also some uh, Z-scale buildings and also some uh, like... Warhammer Epic, and also the Drop Zone Commander buildings. If you've watched uh, older videos of mine, you know that I'm a uh, wargamer from way back, and uh, I have I have a set of this stuff called Terrain Maker. Terrain Maker hexes. They come in hexes about this size right here, right? They come in hexes. Uh, it's just plain styrofoam that you can cut or shape or mold. Okay. Uh, you should do is you paint them, you flock them, what have you. Like what I do is because I like to uh, have more options. What I'll do is I will flock one side perfectly flat grass so that I can use it on the table anywhere as just plain old flat flat grass. But on the other side, what I do is I'll make a road or I'll do something uh, like a road or or river or something like that so that. It can, it can lay both ways. You can lay face down or it can lay face up. Like this side has a road. Uh, this side's a little bit thicker. This is usually used for hills. Uh, you can put one of these up on here, cut it, you know, and before you flock it, it's gonna look a little bit like that where it's been cut. And so when you do eventually glue it onto a, another white board, white uh, hex, right and then once you glue it all together then you flock it and then these things meet together when you form your battlefield okay that's history all right so I, i've been thinking well my robotech rpg tactics is not always going to be in a city right it's sometimes it's going to be out in the wilderness i said and i've got a crazy amount of these hexes already made i can just use these i can just pull these out lay them out and put them out the problem i'm running into is okay all my roads are dirt roads, and they're country roads, okay? And that's fine, because it was supposed to be World War II, Germany, blah, 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 right? That's what, or France, that's what these hexes were originally designed for. Uh, but these could be, in the U.S., these could be, you know, they could be anywhere, right? Well, uh, the trucks and stuff, sure, they, they, they fit fine on those. That's not a problem, you know? And, and when you get your mechs out, and you're playing, and you've got your... Uh, like Zentradi Battle Pod or whatever, he runs around on these hexes just fine, right? Okay, so the hexes and the dirt roads are okay for wilderness, right? W rural areas, and uh, these type of tiles are great for the city. It just depends on what kind of mission you're going to play. But the problem I'm running into, and there's a couple of different problems, but one of them is the hills. Uh, the, these tiles were made for a strategic level game. Yes, they were made for micro armor but they were made for like five hexes would represent a mile. Where on these, they're only gonna represent a few hundred yards. So uh, the hills were only, like I just showed you, that tall. They weren't like real tall mountains or anything. So the best I could do with these would be rolling hills. Unless I were to make some new ones or just make some hill pieces that I could just put on top of a blank map, okay which I don't think I'm gonna do, just because of the effort. Uh, because what I'm doing is a lot of other things. Okay, um, trees. Okay, because when you're in the woods or out in the wilderness, you're gonna have trees running around, right? Well, the majority of my hexes have this size tree. Okay, they have these trees that come with the Terrain Maker system, which is basically a, a long pipe cleaner that had, that's, that's shaped like this, and then you cut it at the middle of the thick part and at the middle of the thin part, and you got like a little pine tree, right? Now you can use your lighter and flip it over and make all kinds of different trees, uh, but the pine trees, just like that. Now for one thing, I'm saying that pine tree that's just a sapling. You know, that, that pine tree isn't tall enough. It only, it, if this thing, if these are 
10 millimeters a piece, which is approximately 10 feet, that would make these trees about 30 feet tall. Well, that's okay. 30 feet's not a terrible tree size, but I wanted trees bigger, right? So I have these trees that I, I I've got this set right here, which is, I've, I've had this set for a while. It's the number 309, 100 flock pines in N scale, right? N scale, 100 pines. But what they are, are and it's made in Germany, and this is the company's Heike. And this is what the trees look like. Mm. Okay, I put some of them on hexes like this. Uh, and you can see they've got a little bit of height to them. You've got a Veritech uh, pilot or fighter. or You know what I'm talking about. You know, it's going to fit pretty good with those trees. Um, the trees aren't going to be too small. They're not going to be too big. Okay. But what? But I do need trees in the city, right? I need, I need trees on in the park. I need trees in the city. So for other games, what I've done is I've taken these other trees, uh, same ones, same, same, because this, this tree set, they come with varying sizes, some really dinky ones all the way up to some really thick, big ones. So I've got these individual mounted trees, and what I've done is I've mounted them on washers, right? I filled the center hole of the washer with some uh, putty, and then I flocked the base of the tree. So now I can put a couple of these in a park, let's say, and I can move them around. So you, now you've got trees in a park. So you can, okay, now this one, I mean, some of this putty I might have to trim because it's causing this, because on a, on a table that has flock, it has no problem standing. I don't know if you can see that. It has no problem, right? But on this perfectly flat table, it's got kind of a wobble. That's because there's, it's not a flat bottom. I need to clean that up, I suppose. Looks good. I like it. Okay. Uh, they can move around in the trees. The trees don't really affect that much uh, unless you start making it really super dense, right? Okay. But if you just have a park, you know, trees aren't going to affect it that much. And then you've got your park over here. Uh, you got your uh, ball court over here with some trees in the park. Uh, now what I need to maybe find is uh, like swing sets and things like that. That would be pretty cool to put in a park like this. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, now there's this road I wanted to show. There's this road that has like side planters or these might be either, these are either planters or maybe where uh, statues would go or they could just be rock parks. Depends on what they are. But you could always plant some trees in there, right? You could have like a row of trees planted in the, in the planter. I think that looks great. Now uh, you got your, got your cars on the road and then you got your Zentradi attacking, right? Okay, so I think that's awesome. Uh, what else? Oh, and your buildings. Okay, comparing them to buildings. Okay, you've got your tree, and then you've got your building. That, that looks good to me. Even though this is Z scale, and this is N scale, I mean, what's a tree really, you know? You just want to know how tall this thing is. Okay, so... It's about 75 to 80 feet tall, okay? And to me, I'm looking at the tree that I have out front in my house. Um, it's probably about 50 feet tall. It's a giant tree, and the one in the back, it's probably a little bit bigger, 60 feet. So this tree might be a little bit too big, but they come in various sizes, like I said. Okay, so uh, that's what I've been working on. I've been working on uh, getting my foliage together. I've also got hedges and uh, walls and stuff like that. Uh, fences, um, and I'm keeping it in the Z scale. Try to keep it in the Z scale. I know it probably should be micro armor scale, but I found that micro armor is just a little bit too small for a one-to-one -one game of battle mechs, of mechs, okay? Um, or mecha in this game. So, but I have been working on this one last project. One last project I have been working on, it is a skyscraper. I actually just wanted to throw something together. It took me about, uh, Took me about an hour to put together. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear this off. All right, this is my skyscraper, right? This is, a, this is pretty tall. And I just put this together maybe an hour. What I did was I cut out uh, some poster board uh, long, you know, long enough that I could 
score it and fold it around just like I was doing with all these other cardboard buildings that I was making. And I even used a drop zone commander rooftop. Okay, that's a drop zone commander rooftop that I just put in there to give it a good looking rooftop. Now what I need do still need to do is put something inside there so it doesn't have all that kind of action going on when I put it on the table. But right now it's looking good. And then you got your got your door front and back, of course, you know. What took me the length of time, cutting it out 10, 15 minutes, something like that, what took me forever was getting my ruler out and drawing all these lines. It took forever. And I was using a horrible pen. I was using a pen that after a couple of lines it started to build up some ink and then ink spear, smeared on the building. Uh, let me see if you can see any real evidence of that. You know, right up there on the top you can see there's ink stains or whatever all over the place. It doesn't really look too bad though. I mean, honestly, I mean, it, you know, it gives a little character. Um, really bad on this side, right there, you know. Uh, it, but it gives you, it gives you some character. And what I did was I took my, I took tooks, okay. I took my um, sharpies. I have a silver and a gold uh, sharpie like these, and I was drawing like some. I was thinking I was going to put like reflective windows on there, or whatever. I was trying to give it a little bit of, uh, give it a little more character and cover up some other stains that I had made. And yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. I mean, it's it doesn't have to be too fancy. If I wanted to, I could make this a three-dimensional building and add maybe some balsa strips on there and paint those up. Uh, I'm not going to go that far. I just wanted to have some tall buildings. So I'm going to make maybe two or three more of these. Nothing really crazy. Um, bigger than a Zentradi, okay? How many of these are around in Macross Island, probably not that many, but we're not always gonna be in Macross Island. We might be downtown New York. Who knows where we're gonna be, right? Um, okay, so that, that's what I've been, that's what I just finished working on. I'm not, I don't think, all I need to do is really work on the inside there so it doesn't uh, bow up like that. And I plan to make a couple more of them. Now what I did, um, last thing, last thing, I'm trying to rush through this because I don't want this video to be super long for you. I bought this Ghost Line poster board, okay? I bought this at my local Kroger's, actually. It's a Ghost Line poster board, and if you look on the poster board itself, I don't know, you probably might not be able to see this in the lighting, but, and plus, this, it's so light. There's actually a one-half inch, or maybe that's, yeah, one-half inch uh, graph paper, basically. You can't see it because it's so it's light gray. It's very light inside there, and I used that as a guide when I was cutting it out. Okay, um, it also gave me kind of a guide for uh, making the uh, floors and things like that for this building. Because what I did was I just followed the ghost lines when I did that. Uh, okay, and that was basically it. I've got that building. Uh, I'm working on my trees. I I've already got a ton of these for the wilderness, so I'll use these if we ever go out out of the cities or what have you and that's what I've been working on. Alright, well thanks for coming out and checking out this video and remember guys, have fun.